Experts Directory allows you to populate your profile with items that showcase your research, teaching, professional activities, scholarly and creative works, grants, and more. However, your profile is not designed to be a static page with nothing but text-based entries. You can also add videos to highlight things like lecture recordings, workshops you've led, conference presentations, or media appearances. These videos are a great way for you to demonstrate some of the more intangible qualities about your professional portfolio that are difficult to illustrate with text alone. To get started, log in by going to expertsdirectory.okstate.edu. Click the OSU Login button and enter your OKEY credentials. Then navigate to the option on the right hand side that says edit my profile. Scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll see a section labeled media. Click the plus add a video button and you'll be presented with several options to configure for the video that you want to add to your profile. First, select a type. Experts directory only supports YouTube. So if you click the drop down menu, that's the only option that appears. If you do not have a YouTube account, check with your department head to see if there are options you can explore, like getting a video uploaded to your college's YouTube account or working with your IT department to get your own YouTube channel created. The label is not necessarily the same as the title of your video. Instead, this is what users will see when they visit your profile and hover their mouse over the video. Give your video a descriptive label so people will know what to expect before they click it. This is useful because you don't always have the ability to change the title of your videos on YouTube, especially if your video is uploaded by a third party, like the organizers of a conference or the owner of a local media outlet. But these titles from YouTube are not shown in your profile, only the label you enter here. For the URL, enter the address of the video. You can just copy and paste this from YouTube. Finally, write a short description of the video. Think of this as the alt text for your video, which is used by screen reader software to assist people with limited vision. It doesn't need to be particularly long, but a few sentences about your video will go a long way towards making your profile more accessible. Let's walk through this process so you can see how it all works. I'm gonna add a video to my profile that's a conference presentation I did at the Oklahoma Learning Innovation Summit in spring 2022. That way, when people visit my profile, they can not only read about my presentation and my professional activities, but they can actually watch it and see it for themselves. I have this video pulled up in a new tab, and while I could insert a link to this video on my profile, it would really help to have the actual video show up for people to watch without leaving my profile at all. The first thing I need is the title of the video. I can select it and then press Control c to copy it, or Command-C if you use a Mac, and then switch back to the tab on my profile. Then I can paste the title in the label field by pressing Control v or Command-V on a Mac. However, before I go further, I want to clean up the title a little bit so that it's more readable. Most people who visit my profile probably don't know what OKLIS OK means, so I'm going to edit the title to be a bit more generic and descriptive. Changing it to Conference Presentation, Building Community in Online Classes, is much easier to understand and will make more sense to a wider audience. Next, I need the URL of the video. To get this, I'm going to switch back to my browser tab with the video. Click the Share button, and then click Copy next to the URL. Then I'll switch back to my Profile tab and paste this in the URL field. Finally, I need to write an accessible description. You'll probably have to write this yourself, unless your video already has a description that was uploaded to YouTube, but most videos don't. In this case, I already have a description that I wrote in a separate document, so I'm going to paste it here. For privacy, you can select Match Profile Level or Private, and we recommend just leaving it at Match Profile Level. Finally, click Save and the video will be added to your profile. If you're a little unsure of what to put in any of these fields, don't worry, you can always change things later by clicking the Edit button. This lets you make changes, and you can remove the video entirely by clicking the Delete button. To see what this looks like now that I've added the video to my profile, I'm going to scroll up to the top and click the View My Public Profile button. The media section now displays the video I just entered. And if I hover my mouse cursor over the thumbnail, I see the label I typed. Click the video to play it and it shows up in a larger window. You can see how adding videos to your Experts Directory profile is a great way to show visitors much more than they can get by just reading text.